That's it right now, Tina. What's up, YouTube? This is Grand Spatcher here, back with another video for you guys. And today, we're gonna be talking about how far will Dragon Ball Kakarot make it, as far as story-wise, of course. I mean, as we all know, the last game that well, Z Fighters, I think Fighter Z was the last Dragon Ball Z game that came out. And, you know, that game was you know a pretty fun fighter game, and you know it's had a lot of characters from the um, Super Series and so forth. I didn't really think no GT characters made it to that game, but Xenoverse 2, on the other hand, and you know, having all super characters, well, and a lot of the uh, GT characters, and so what's to expect from Dragon Ball Kakarot? How far will this story make it? You know, how far will this story go? Would it go all the way to Super? Would it make it to GT? Well. To be honest, um, I wouldn't mind if this game just stopped after the Majin Buu saga, and then if they want to go to Super and all that, you know, make that DLC content. You know, save all that for DLC, GT and all that for DLC content. You know, but as far as the extra game itself, I, I think it should just stop, you know, in at the Majin Buu, in the Majin Buu saga. And, yeah, I think this is how the story should play out for itself. And I know... You know, a lot of Dragon Ball Z games have indeed ended with the Majin Buu saga. You know, and sometimes it'd be nice for a change of, you know, pace for it to, you know, end at the Super. Like I said, I wouldn't mind it ending at the Majin Buu saga, but at the same time, I wouldn't mind the end of going transferring over to Super too. But, you know, I prefer if the game would first come out to, like, end at the Majin Buu saga and then, you know, later on add, you know, maybe Super and all that as DLC content later on or as another expansion of the story itself as a big update part of the game later on. Because, I mean, you know, you know, you want to have something to come to later on, you know, something to keep people coming back to the game, of course. And, you know, there's plenty of characters in the original Dragon Ball series, you know, Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Super, and even though a lot of people don't like Dragon Ball GT, I like the Dragon Ball GT personally. I mean, the story wasn't the best of the best, but you know, I still like Dragon Ball GT's characters, and I still the story wasn't all that bad in my opinion. But anyways, like I said though, Dragon Ball Kakarot, I see this game being great to be honest. You know, this game has a lot of potential, and as long as they play their cards right, and you know, they do what they should do with this game like they should go ahead and play the dlc outright they shouldn't rush with the dlc you know you know make sure the dlc's are interesting they make if this game does go with dlc's now that the game should have really interesting dlc's you know make sure the good you know characters coming in and uh and unlike xenoverse 2 you know xenoverse 2 did have a lot of characters in it you know character creation all that and that's cool and everything but i mentioned this in another video of mine about xenoverse 2 is the fact that well they got pretty lazy but it came down to a lot of things. Well, like, for example, when they added new characters to the game, instead of them characters being transformations, which I would have preferred, they end up being just extra characters a part of the game, which I didn't understand for the life of me. Why? They just, they're extra characters instead of them being transformations. For example, you know, if you ever play Xenoverse 2, may you have, may you have not, you know, you know, you got Goku Black regular, and then there's entirely another character, Goku Black Rose, you know? And, like, it's like why like why is that not a transformation for the original goku black character like why did he cannot transform into super saiyan rose so it's like why like and that all comes down to i feel like i just felt like the designers and developers got pretty lazy with the came out of that they just didn't want to incorporate that into a transformation they got pretty lazy or maybe they just felt like the people or the players are going to ask for the transformation if it was a transformation which is why they did not make it a transformation but you know who knows man there's a lot of things that go on about why why they didn't do this and that in xenoverse 2 but this is about dragon ball kakarot not xenoverse so you know i'm gonna try to keep smaller tabs on dragon ball kakarot and i seen they dropping trailers you know they dropping you know characters and stuff like that i see they dropping the you know, Majin Buu saga trailer and stuff like that so you know, like I said, this game, you know, I'm definitely going to get it because, you know, I'm always been a huge fan of the Dragon Ball Z games and Dragon Ball Z franchise itself. So, as long as they keep the story interesting, you know, and keep the game, you know, interesting. Because, like, it's been a while now since I last played a like, original Dragon Ball Z. Like, sticking with the original story. Since I, you know, like I said, I don't want to keep going back to Xenoverse. But, you know, Xenoverse technically didn't stick to the original story of... Dragon Ball Z kind of went off course to follow the different time missions and stuff like that. And Dragon Ball Kakarot, I'm pretty sure, is going to stick strictly to how the story was. 
And if they do decide to go with, you know, to Super, they go to Super, you know, I just hope they do it right, you know. They should go ahead and include the Resurrection of Elf and uh, the God of Destruction of Beers and all that. And, I mean, they should go on to the thing. I mean, if they're going to do Super like that, then she go ahead and incorporate some of the movies and stuff in it too, like the Super movies before the original Super series started. And they should make it all right. If they're going to make it all the way through the Super, because... I feel like if they do go to Super, then, you know, they can make the Tournament of, po Tournament of Power a really big, you know, story, long, long story for this game. And this game can go pretty far as far as what the Tournament of Power can do for the story. But like I said before, I don't really want that to be part of the game when it first come out. I'd rather the game just kind of, you know, take a pause, break point at the, at, the, at the end of Majin Buu Saga, you know. That thing, you know, let the story just, you know, shift for a second. And then, you know, they can make some announcements about dropping some DLC content or some new characters or some new missions or whatnot they want to drop for this game. And, like I said, the turning the power, you know, I'm down for it being added to the game later on. And there's so much they can do with this game. And there's so much they can do what can go on. But the original Dragon Ball Z story itself has a lot going on in it. You know, the Cell Saga, you know. Frieza and Planet Namek, you know, so much stuff happened during the Dragon Ball original Dragon Ball Z series. So, you know, of course, going through all that again is always a you know a fun experience to go through and experience. So maybe you guys may get tired of playing of the same story over and over again, but I feel like it's been a while now since I played the you know a, a Dragon Ball Z game with the original Dragon Ball Z storyline, which is the original storyline. Since how I mean I played Fighter Z, but I didn't really play it that much, so. And uh, this will be kind of like a refresh, a reminder of the Dragon Ball Z story for me. And yeah, I'm down for it, man. I don't really have high hopes for this game. I hope they take their time with this game and make it a great game. And yeah, the Dragon Ball Z, Dragon Ball Kakarot, you know, at first I was kind of skeptical because like, you know, I'm, I'm, I was like everybody else, like, oh wow, like another Dragon Ball Z storyline game. So like, what's the difference between this and any other game? You know, and like I said, I'm not feeling that way now. I feel like this game has potential and it can do something really great. And who knows? Maybe Dragon Ball Kakarot may be the best in the franchise yet to come. You guys tell me what you think down in the comment section below about Dragon Ball Kakarot. And I'll see you guys in the next vid. See ya.